so good morning. First off, <clears throat> I want to thank Reverend Kimberly and, uh, and all Pilgrim for giving me the opportunity to speak this morning. Uh, and thanks to all my friends uh, who came out, my family, my father-in-law. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, and just thanks for all the extra support, extra love, thoughts, and prayers throughout these past few years of my life. So a few things that I want to talk about today are, one, my faith in Christ, uh, second, my outlook on the journey of life, and also a little bit about dealing with pain. So as most of you may already know, I have recently went through some trials and tribulations these past few years of my life, uh, with the loss of my dad to cancer, uh, and the loss of my new way of wife and unborn son uh, due to childbirth complications. Um, so again, I want to say thanks to everyone for your continued thoughts, uh, prayers, and love. <clears throat> so, even though I have experienced a lot of heartache and pain with the loss of two people who are very dear to my heart, I would have to say that the main thing that has kept me moving and kept me going is my faith in God. Just like in Matthew chapter 5 and 4, it says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In Psalms 147 and 3, it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So I really do believe that God has given me some extra comfort and strength and is also continuing to heal my broken heart. Yeah, all right. So I know some people were worried about my faith uh, and if I was going to lose my faith in God after the recent tragic loss of my wife. Um, but my faith in God, knowing that he says he will always be with me, even in those times that I may not understand why he is doing what he is doing. Just like in Romans chapter 8, 28, he says, and we know that in all things, things God works for the good of those who love who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Uh, that was also one of my grandfather's favorite scriptures. Uh, so and there, there are also plenty of other scriptures in the Bible that have helped me to gain some understanding and help me with my continued faith in Jesus Christ. So now, before I get to the next topic, uh, I'm going to get Brother Ellis to come up here and do a little demonstration. Uh, All right, so right here we have a, a picture. Got a closed lock and an open lock. So I'm gonna give Ellis this uh, lock. I'm gonna give him two tries to try and make this uh, picture look like this one. Try and have him try to open the lock. So just put in any combination you can think of and see if you can open the lock. Try one more time. See what you can come up with. So here's the picture. Here's how it looks. Try to get there. Can you get it? All right. Let me see. So uh, now I'm, I'm going to give them this lock. Now on the back of this lock is the instructions on how to open it. Now see if you can read those instructions and uh, open the lock. that demonstration was to show how good instructions can help guide us in making things a little bit easier and avoid some trial and error and mistakes Come on. Come on, uh, in yeah. life. Yeah. So has anyone here ever bought anything from the store that requires some type of assembly that you got home and put it together? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anyone ever got it home and you look at the picture, <laughs> you're trying to put it together, you start running into problems? Yeah. I know me, me Mark, <laughs> you should do it all the time. Uh, so, now, there have been a few times when I brought something from the store, got home, took out the box, I'm sitting there trying to put it together. You know, I'm getting halfway done, and I'm just, I really just wasn't a little bit, but I'm looking at the picture, and then I start running into problems. Uh, and things weren't added up. So I, I would always call my dad, like, Dad, whatever we brought, I, I don't know, somebody ain't adding up. They ain't giving all the pieces, man, to take it back to the store. You know, uh, and the first thing he would always tell me, he would be, Jerry. Did you read the instruction manual, or you just looking at the picture? Because he knew how it was sometimes. I'll take some, some shortcuts. Uh, now, my dad, he was a mechanical engineer and computer software programmer. 
So he had a really good understanding of how things work, mainly because he read so much about the things that he was working with. Um, so he was able to work through any problem that, that came his way. Um, and as I grew up and as I watched the way that he lived his life, you know, as I, as I watched uh, the way he raised his family, the father that he was, the husband that he was, the worker that he was, and also the Christian that he was, I knew that there was some type of instruction manual that he was following to do the job that he did. Now, most things that we buy require some, that require some type of assembly or skill to operate comes with an instruction manual to, to help you with it. In the world we live in today, sometimes it's easier to just look at the big picture on certain things and try and duplicate that or replicate it uh, without realizing that sometimes pictures are, are not always what they seem. Uh, sometimes you can miss out on all the hard work and other intricate steps that it took to get to that final product. Yeah. Also, by following the instruction manual, it can help you to avoid some mistakes that you don't necessarily have to go through in life. Uh, and yeah. avoid some frustration when things don't quite work out the way that you intend them to. Amen. So, in this journey of life, God also provides us with an instruction manual, Amen. which is the Bible. Yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, sometimes, ignore, sometimes ignoring God's instruction for our lives can also lead to some very frustrating moments, as I'm sure a lot of the older seasoned men can attest to. I'm also sure that a lot of older men uh, would like to remind some of the younger men in the church of Proverbs uh, chapter 1, verse 8, which says, Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. So the book of Proverbs, in my opinion, is a very good instruction manual that is full of wisdom to help us get through life a little bit easier. Now, we're saying that um, following the instructions, following the instructions of the Bible, doesn't mean that life will be simple, doesn't mean that life will be easy, doesn't mean you will never encounter any problem, never, never any pain, but it will give you a good foundation of which to stand on to help get through the difficult times and storms that may come through your life. And the more we follow God's instructions, it will help, help us build a stronger foundation of our lives that will help, uh, that will endure, that will enable us to endure any storm that may come our way. And this reminds me uh, of a time I was living in Florida back in 2004. There were three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back hurricanes that came within a three-week period of each other. You know, uh, and now most of the homes in Florida, they're built with uh, cement frames instead of wood frames because the cement frames uh, are more sturdy. They can, they can withstand stronger storms. Um, so now, after those three hurricanes, you know, I had some minor damage to the house. I had a few shingles missing off the roof. Uh, but my house still stood very strong uh, and, and remained and, and endured that storm. Now, some of the trailer homes around the corner didn't pan out too well. Uh, so sometimes in life, storms have a way of letting you know what type of foundation that you're resting on. So I, I wish I could say that by just having faith in God and just doing your best to uh, follow God's word, that no storms would ever come your way, that you would be immune to all storms. But that's not what the word of God says. Uh, but what I can tell you is that by adhering to God's word means that whatever storm comes your way, you can be assured that your foundation, which has been anchored in the Lord, will stand strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, word. Like I said, once again, I wish I could say that life has no difficulties or storms are waiting for you, but God never said that life will be easy. He never said that you would not face tough times. He never said that you wouldn't go through pain and, pain and suffering. But he did say that he would never leave us nor forsake us. So, once again, as you guys know, that I went through probably the worst storm that I can imagine last year as I watched my wife, you know, take her last breaths. Uh, now, that was a storm that I wasn't sure that how I was going to, to get through. Uh, and although I'm still recovering from that storm, I'm very thankful that I have Jesus Christ, the solid rock, to stand and lean on. Uh, so, now, for uh, my next demonstration, I have my assistant. This is, uh, this is Joe. <laughs> Joe, with your life, so he, he's, he's going to uh, show show us a little bit. <laughs> we're going to bring him right here. So as you see, this is Joe standing standing tall. And as you see, his foundation is Jesus Christ, the solid rock. So um, I'm going to get I need four volunteers to come. I'm still trying to get the kids. <laughs> but Christ, come on, come on, Silas. 
Come on, come on, come on, Kimball. This is my little mate. Uh, hey, uh, right. <laughs> All right. All right, so what we have here, we got four different storms we're going to go over. So uh, first off right here, we have the storm of loss of love. So you're going to be that storm. We got the storm of loss of a job. Uh, we got the storm of family problems. And then, you, and then we got a storm of just any, any type of tragedy. Any, any, just got to use your imagination for that. Anything you may be going through right now. So, first off, so what I want you to do, this is uh, Joe. Uh, when I when I call your storm, I want you to come and give Joe your best shot. Try and knock him down. Try to knock him out. Let's see, see how you do. So, uh, got killed. Uh, he's a storm of loss of a love. Let's see what you got. That's all you, that's all you get him one more time. <laughs> all right. Now, you can see, you know, Joe, just he, he endured you know, some pain, some heartache, but his foundation bounced him right back yeah, up. Yeah, man. So now we got uh, the next storm, uh, loss of a job. Go ahead, come on, Sal. Let's, let's see what you got. Try, try to knock him out. One more time. One more time. Get him. <laughs> All right. So you see, he just took a big financial blow for losing his job. Yeah, man. So he's on this solid rock, so he just bounced right back Come up. on, Doc. Yes, sir. So we got uh, my next storm is uh, some of his family problems. Uh, so let's see what you got. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> that's it. You can Come on. Try one more time. Okay. No matter what type of family problems that you have, you, you see he's standing on his, on his solid rock, so he's just going to bounce back up. No matter what knocks him down, he's going to bounce back up. Now, this last storm is just, like I said, use your imagination. If anybody here is going through any, any, any storms or, or anything. Now, some storms that we go through in life, some things will try to take God from you. Some, some things will try to make you lose your faith in God. So that, it'll try and knock God from you. So I, I want you to try to keep Jesus from under you. You see, you kick it. And kick it down, kick it all oh, you can. <laughs> nope, Jesus didn't go nowhere. Come on, man. Still, 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 still straight up. And you remember, Jesus said he would never leave us or forsake us. So he's still, still, still strong. So Joe, we're still right here, still standing strong. Uh, yes, sir. Was doing, uh, all the, uh, the pain and suffering and doing whatever. Whenever a storm came his way, he could have knocked him down. He lost right back up. Yes, sir. All right. Thank y'all. That's the no word. Right. Right. Just remember when storms come your way and when life knocks you down, um, just remember to stay encouraged because your foundation is built on the truth of the Bible and you can sing the hymn on Christ the solid rock I stand all on the ground is seeking the sand. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks to everybody for your attendance and uh, much love. have been ministered to today. Amen. Amen. So what we want to do, we want to do the same thing that we did last time. We want to break off into our prayer, our prayer circles. Amen. So let's just break off into circles here and there, uh, f uh, four or five together, and we're just going to pray for one another as, as men. All right? You can, you can designate one person in your circle to pray, or everybody in the circle can take a turn and, and, and pray. So we just want to take a